Hey there everybody, this is Atrus here with Let's Play Portal 2. I have to thank my friend Jeff, because he's the reason that I'm able to do this LP at this time. I'm kind of borrowing his account kind of thing here. Not actually borrowing it, I can't actually go on while he's on, but whatever. So, anyway. I wor I really want to buy this game. I will buy it once I get another like 26 or so dollars and have enough money to buy it, but until then... I will be using this. So let us start a new game. Chapter 1. I played about halfway through, I guess. So let's start from the beginning. This is this game is epic. What I played so far, it is epic like none other. And I will shut up for cutscenes, don't you worry about that. Maybe occasionally talk, but I'll try not to. Not that not that there's really many cutscenes. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Look up. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. I have looked down. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Staring at the art. Oh yeah. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Sleep. But yeah, this game is epic. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? is Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate hey, babe. Hello? Immediately. I'm going to let him talk for a bit. Can I open the door? At this time. At any time? To have exercised his or her Hello? To remain in extended nope. relaxation. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding this policy, 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 policy. Or if, 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 or it's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. Alright, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both gonna die. Alright, I didn't want to say it. There you go. <laughs> You've dragged it out of me. Alright, dead. Dos muerte. Open the door! Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look te um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? <laughs> How, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please slow. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all he's saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Really is awesome, though. He is just awesome. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Hiding in the clo- no, dang, I can't hide in the closet. Hey, okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. 
How are you doing down there? You still Looking holding outside. on? Looking outside. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. The bed and does not move this entire thing. Anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? Oh, Cubs, we broke the arse. see, am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Pretty much Not alive. Dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Bam! Like I said, the bed does not move Good at news. all. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Yeah, I think the bed is nailed to Almost the floor. There. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Bang. The bed mover did just half the place fall off. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that. You got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. And now, let's go fall into the That's wind the spirit. glass here. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, Two, one. So, any of you remember this room? This is the very first room of Portal 1. And here we are again, looking through the same portal at ourselves, except now the top of our jumpsuit is unzipped. So, yeah. And also, we got little new legging thingamabobbers. Now they cover entire legs instead of just the feet. I don't know why it's different like that, it just is. Ah, um, there I zoomed in. See, they're completely white, they're more boot-like now, they're not just like little springy mob bobbers on the back of the legs as they were once. And so, let's keep on going. Yeah, this game is epic, I love this game so far. <laughs> I've only played half the way through it, it's just awesome. Awesome game. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. That's a real confidence booster. Don't ask me why I'm throwing around the radio because I really don't know. There we go. Please note the Burn incandescent it. particle field across the exit. Yes. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. And also, for some reason, the elevators are completely different. I don't know why. They're a lot thinner and stuff, and you can't jump while it's moving. You can jump before it starts moving, but you can't jump after it starts moving. I don't know why, but that's how it is. See, I can jump, and now I can't. Aperture Laboratories. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. 
You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. So now the emancipation grid, or not as it is now grill, can now emancipate my teeth and my ear and my ear tubes. Isn't that great? Yeah. I love aperture science. Room one. Once again, the same one, except this time you can control the portals yourself. Let's put one there. Apparently, this is um, according to my friend. What he said about the developer commentary, this is for people who've already played the game once and don't want to have to wait around forever and ever as they wait for the thing to go. And you know, I kind of prefer it. <laughs> but yeah, I think the controls do have a slightly different feel than the, to the first game. Not too different, but it is different, but hey, I don't know. It's not that. They're not bad. It's just a little different feeling that I have to get used to. And the cameras are deactivated, and it looks slightly different from the first game. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before no. re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Mm. Ah, I love Aperture Science. Stuff falling on top of the elevator. We've got turrets, the cubes, um... Uh... A lot of cubes and turrets. And yeah. I still don't understand why the elevators look so different. You'd think they'd be similar to the first games. And also, this game has obvious loading screens. Obvious loading screen of doom. A lot more obvious than the first game, which was just a word that said loading. This one actually has a separate screen for it. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to reason. I love the animal king takeover thing here. It's a turret, leopard skin turret. With a crown. Can't forget that crown. But yeah, as we go, more the, mo the panels will be more and more fixed, I guess. I don't know. I can't break this glass. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, hey! You made it! Hello, Wheatley. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about. You know well, what's right. going to over happen podium, once I go yeah. over there. Don't you? I know. Because I've done it if, before. If just, okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. Um, that's it, yeah, no, that's it, yeah. Here we go. Oh! Thank goodness for those little uh, boot much macaws we were wearing. Can you see the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? If that's <laughs> important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. <laughs> ah, Wheatley, you're so epic. Ratman painting stuff. Um, from this picture, I cannot tell if any of them are supposed to be the Ratman. I don't believe so, though. Yeah. Okay. Companion cube. And there's me, a shell. There's the portal gun, and shell. And there's GLaDOS, handing her some cake. And the companion cube. I didn't know GLaDOS had hands. And I didn't know that it was a- I didn't know that our cake was chocolate with a cherry. Well, I think it did have a cherry, but it definitely was not chocolate. In fact, I believe the cake was rather toxic. Like the fish shaped solid waste. And the needles and needle injector and yeah. Sediment shaped sediment. Shaped like fish. Okay, let's continue on. This is not gonna be a speed of any sort. I'm going to enjoy this game as I can. 
I have not started my timer. So I'm going to end this episode here, and I will be back in a second. See you guys later. This has been Atrus with Let's Play Portal 2. See you in a second. See ya.